Hey everybody, it's Kenzie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing this fall look because I am feeling fall as hell. I'm sorry I haven't been here for a while, but your girl is back. So, ba bam let's get into it. So I just got this awesome little bag from Sephora. The last time I ordered, they were giving away these bags and you got to choose which one that you wanted. And I got this one that had all these different awesome samples, but my favorite thing from the sample was this Dr. Jart Water Infuse, um, or Water Fuse Ultimate Hydro Gel. It is, oh my gosh, this is like a drink of water for your face. So this is what I'm gonna be using as a moisturizer today. I like to put this on first so when and then do my like eyes because this gives my moisturizer like a chance to kind of just sit and hang out and do its work while I am spending all the other time on my eyes. I just kind of take a little bit that's in the cap and dot it across my face and then just rub it in really good. I love this stuff. As usual, I'm going to be using my Tarte Shape Tape as a primer today because this is the best primer that is not even like a primer, but I just use it as one because I just think it works better and better than any primer that I've ever actually used. Right, so I'm going to just set this with a white eyeshadow. I like using Big Baby from my Swamp Queen. So let, since I let that sit a little bit, I'm going to go in with my other favorite primer, my face primer. Um, my first all yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in my brows. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer in Taupe. Alright, so I'm going to be doing today's look with my new favorite subculture that should not be any kind of shock to any of you guys by now. So I'm just going to be taking a crease brush and I'm going to go in with the shade New Wave first, this one right here. And I'm just going to be creating like, it's kind of like a copper look. Um, I do this look actually like all the time and like every day before I go to work and I get a lot of compliments on it. So I figured, hey, I might as well just film it. I like it a lot, so why the hell not? Okay, so next I'm gonna be going in with Roxy and I'm gonna be taking a little bit in the crease and I'm gonna be putting it on both sides of my lid. So now I'm gonna take All Star and I'm gonna actually put this in the same place on the outside and inside of my lid. So now I'm going to be taking a little bit of the shade Rowdy, which I can't really tell like what color this is supposed to be. I think it's supposed to be like a purple kind of, but I don't really know like what they were trying for, but I mean, I, I like it. I don't not like it. So I'm going to take a little bit of this. I'm going to put it just on the outside and blend that in and barely smoke it up into the crease. So then, I'm gonna take this little flat brush and it's nothing special, it's just from my Carity collection. And I'm gonna take the shade Adorn and I'm gonna put that right in the center of my lid. and just pat that on. So now I'm gonna take a bigger 
fluffy brush not that fun and just kind of blend this darker part out a little more I want that a little more blended because the only problem I have with subculture is that the darker shades like rowdy and fudge and all-star and even mercury they they're kind of hard to blend out which i know is the big problem with with this palette is that's a lot of people's issue is that it is difficult to blend out but it's you know i don't know i mean i have bigger problems with other palettes and still use them so you know whatever i think people just want to complain you know. So now I'm going to be taking my TARDIS Double Take Liner and I'm going to line my eyes really quick and I'm going to add some lashes and I will be right back. Okay, so I'm going to finish my eyes like mascara and all that. I like to do that almost last because I don't want to smudge up the rest of my face. So now that I've had a chance to let my primer sit, I am going to go ahead and put on my foundation. Okay, now that I have my foundation on, I'm just going to take a little bit of my Kat Von D Lock It Concealer Cream in the shade L9 Neutral. I am actually almost out of this, but I'm just going to put a little bit. So now I'm going to do some more cream contouring, and I'm going to use my <clears throat> NYX Wonder Stick in Light Medium. Contour stick. Okay, so now I'm going to be doing powder contouring with my Fiona Styles palette, and I'm going to be taking this middle shade right here, and just kind of setting that contour. So now I'm going to take the highlight part of my wonder stick, which I like. It's not like, it's more of like a shiny. I have to just show you because I don't really know. See, I bought this thinking that this was like kind of like a concealer kind of highlight, like just like a regular not shiny color, stuff like that. But um, it's more of like a pre powder highlight like it's like a cream highlight and uh is like kind of iridescent and it's really pretty like I just now started using it I've had this wonder stick for probably like two or three months and I'm just now using it okay so now I'm gonna take this little highlight it's a highlight and it's an eyeshadow um from Ofra and I've had this for a while and I'm an idiot and I've never used it I don't know like what the name of it is but anyways this is what it looks like and I'm just gonna take this little brush Ooh. damn look at that oh man I'm living for that Yeah, I like that a lot. Okay, I'm gonna take this little brush. Put a little bit of that in my 
inner corner because that is a freaking blinding highlight okay so now I'm gonna finish out my eyes and I'm gonna go back into my subculture palette and I'm gonna start with all star and I'm just gonna go on my lash line with that about halfway across on the other side. Sorry, my mirror is like down here and it's like laying sideways. And so I'm like trying to tilt my head where I can see it. Oh my god. I can't wait to watch this video back and be like, Kenzie, what the hell are you doing? Okay, so that, and then I'm gonna take a little bit of Roxy and put it on top of All Star. Add a little more pink to the bottom. Okay, and lastly, I'm gonna take Adorn and put it on top all the way to the highlight on the inner side. So now I'm gonna put on mascara on the bottom and it is the Voluminous Last that That's hard to say. Voluminous Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. This is like a dupe for the Better Than Sex Mascara. And I really like it, but just like Better Than Sex Mascara, it is super flaky and kind of annoying because you'll have some residue, but you know, if you're like a diehard Better Than Sex fan, then you will love this because it's like $9 and that's amazing. You know, opposed to like 23, I think how much, I think that's how much better than sex is. I don't really remember. So now I'm gonna set all of that with my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Spray and Set. This is my favorite. So now the best part of fall that we get to do is the lips. Get to do a nice dark lip color that I'm so excited about. So this is the box that came with the Manny Jeffrey collaboration and I use it to keep all of my lipsticks in. Oh, I have so many choices. What am I going to eat? Let's try. Here, let's try this one. I got this as a sample. Um, it is the Anastasia Beverly Hills in the color Sepia. I actually wanted this for like a really long time. And then I was like, I really don't want to pay that much for lipstick. So I ended up getting it from Ulta when I bought my last... Thing of um, when I bought a refill for my brow pencil and they gave me this and some brow gels with it so hmm that is thick so I like the applicator but the product itself feels like I am caking like molasses on my lips. It feels so heavy and so thick like I'm putting like syrup on my lips. It's so thick. And it's not matte. At least it's not matte yet. So I'm not digging that. Oh no. Oh no. Hmm. Okay, well now I know. I really wanted this color. I don't love it on me as much as I still love it like on other people that I've seen, but hmm. So that is it. This is my fall look. Um, it is, I think, pretty easy. I do it every day uh, before work and I get a lot of compliments on it. So hopefully you guys like it. I don't love this lip color, but I wasn't about to just like take it off and whatever. So, um, yeah, uh, I hope you guys are as excited for fall as I am. And yeah, make sure you get out and enjoy the nice weather for those of us that are lucky enough to have it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, obviously. Don't forget to like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share, don't forget to do all of that stuff. Follow me on my social media. Uh, I know I haven't filmed in forever, so thank you for coming back and watching this video with me. All right, I love you guys so much. I'll see you next time. Mwah.